In this video, I'll try to fill you in with the top 5 HBGs in the Rise 3.0 update. Scratch that. It's just me trying to give you 4 more builds you can put in your loadout so you can tell your friend you play HBG. But let's be honest, you're only gonna play Sticky. If you haven't seen it yet, I did say in the top 5 LBG video what I think about the Valstrax armor and as to why it's not really much of a game changer. But then again, I'll include a separate skill hierarchy for it for each build. For the shield HBG aficionados out there, if you switch from power barrel to shield, you're trading 10% more damage for a shield. And if ever you do wish to incorporate the shield mod in your builds, I suggest going for at least guard 3 and guard up 2. If ever you do want to go for more points on guard, either you go for guard 5 or just stay at guard 3. Guard has nothing to do with chip damage, but it does have something to do with the amount of knockback you get from a monster's attack. Less knockback means the sooner you get to reposition or or fire after blocking an attack. Guard up is solely for the chip damage you receive. Before we get please, to the build, please, please, please. subscribe. I'm sorry man, Retro's voice is here to say. Okay, first on our list is the Slicing Heavy Bow Gun, Abyssal Gale Barrage from the Ibushi Tree. Due to its recent upgrade, this gun had an increased clip size on its slicing ammo by 1. If you crafted this gun before the 3.0 update, you can only get slicing ammo to a clip size of 2, which damn sucks, but now you can raise the bar up a little higher because it's in the clip size of 3. It has a pretty interesting ramp up skill as well, it has anti-aerial species. This gives you 10% more damage to any monster that has wings, plus Ibushi and Narwa. Narga has wings, Kezu has wings, Diablos has wings, Teostra, Camellios, Kushala, you get the point. This is the No Talisman build. I know this is a slicing build, you might be wondering why I prioritize artillery over weakness exploit. Main reason for it is because you can't really build up that much affinity for this gun. You'll get 50% affinity at a weak spot at best, so I went with buffing up Sticky. The ideal talisman you would add here is a talisman that can make that wix up to level 3. Add a bit more attack up to level 4 and if you can, try to squeeze one slugger. Flinch free is up to you. My current build has Wex 3 and Attack Boost 4. I went with Attack Boost 4 instead of more Critical Boost because I wanted to influence both my Sticky and Slicing damage. Critical Eye is there because the builder said I can fit it in. I tried to fit one Slugger but looks like my Talisman said no. Skill Priorities, if you want to see what you can come up with, with the builder would be Core Skills, 3 Recoil, 3 Reload, Spare Shot 3, Ammo Up 3, Artillery 3, Wex 3. Additional damage skills, go for attack 4, try to see if you can go for attack 7. After that, try to build up critical boost, put critical eye, peak performance, agitator. Comfort is flinch free, slugger, evade extender 1. If you would like to make a dragon heart set, slight difference in priority once again, just remove peak performance and more priority getting more crit first. This is like a Magnum Allo light bowgun setup. I made it ammo up 3 instead of 2 so you have an additional sticky per clip. Sticky monster, when it falls down, goes slicing. You can also do wyvern heart with this gun, which is pretty awesome. Again, any monster with wings counts as an aerial monster, plus Ibushi and Narwa. Make sure you use it on the right monsters so you get that 10% damage bonus. Next up, Spread 3. It's not Magnamalo, not Puke, not Tetra, but the Camellio heavy bow gun. This gun lets you fire 7 bullets of Spread 3 per clip. You'll be stationary though, but don't worry, due to the good slots of this gun, fitting in some comfort skills to manage critical distance with spreads is easy. I was able to even fit free meal 3 on my current build with this gun. The ramp up skill we would go for would be spread effect 2 for that chonky clip size. Here is the no talisman build. You get the usual skills like wex, crit boost, attack, spread, but most importantly to take note here is ballistics level 2. This will make your critical distance with spreads easier to manage. If ever you are to add a talisman here, I would suggest putting a talisman that would either increase your affinity or increase critical boost to level 3. Like I said earlier, my current build is running free meal 3. I didn't put it as a necessary skill when I was making the set. It's because whatever I do in the builder, I would really have 3 level 1 slots blank. I didn't push attack to level 7 because I can't. Instead, I invested more into affinity for more consistent crits. Here are the skills needed if you are to play around with your talisman in the builder. 4 skills, 2 quick load, 2 absorber, 3 spread, 3 wex. Additional damage skills, attack 4, go for critical boost, Check if you can go for attack 7, try to pour in more critical eye, peak, agitator. Comfort. 
Ballistics level 2, Flinch Free 1, Evade Extender 1. For Dragonheart, out with peak, go for more crits over more attack. Let's go to normal. Yes, it's still Camellios because this thing has a nasty 9 per clip on normal 3s. I do not know why they made it that way. 9 is insane and that's not even with ammo up. The good thing about this huge clip size is it works with the gun's ramp up skill, Camellio Soul, which actually gives you a random buff when you shoot. Sometimes you get more defense, more health, more attack. It's like gotcha hunting horn, but you shoot instead. Normals are niche, not really the best at anything. This is the No Talisman build. Thanks to the gun having good slots and also not needing a recoil or reload deco for optimal shooting of normal threes, you can actually make a good looking set even without the talisman. Steadiness 2 is mandatory though, so you don't get any penalty when you eat for temper. If you are to put the talisman here, put more affinity or go for attack 7, if you can. With my build, I maxed out critical eye level 7, giving me 90% affinity on a weak spot. Maxing that skill out still allowed me to put free meal in the build, giving me a chance to save some might seeds, demon powder, drug, max potions in the hunts. Mixing and matching a normal 3 set in the builder, I advise you to go for these skills. Core skills, 2 Steadiness, Normal 3, Wex 3, Additional Damage Skills, Attack Boost 4, Critical Boost, Build Critical Eye, Attack Boost 7, or Peak Performance. Comfort Skills, Flinch Free, Evade Extender. The Dragonheart version, Down with Peak and Attack, put stronger crits and more affinity on top. For the Pierce Heavy Bowgun, we're going to use Kushala Dayora's Heavy Bowgun. Another gun that wouldn't let you move while shooting, but it's fine. Pierce has a lot of reach and the gun looks damn stylish. For the people that are wondering, no, this does not beat Rapid Fire Pierce 2. No way. Why would you use it? Style. Ramp up skill that we will use is Kushala Dayora's Soul. It works well with Pierce. You'll easily get that additional 30% affinity in one Pierce 3 bullet. This is the No Talisman build. I went ham on Critical Eye on the No Talisman build. I'm going for the universal affinity approach. You have 80% affinity with this set. It doesn't matter if you're hitting a weak spot. Steadiness too is needed. Seriously, you need it. You don't want to shoot a curved Pierce bullet. Trust me. And temper is a big buff for this ammo. I've added Ballistics 2 as well because this is not like Bowgun. You don't have Fanning Maneuver to zip you to the other end of the map, so managing critical distance might be a bit tricky. I would suggest adding a Talisman here for Critical Boost or Attack Boost. For my own build, I was fortunate enough to have a Pierce 2 Talisman. With that, I was able to max out Critical Boost and add Attack 4 to the mix. But I sacrifice a bit of comfort. As you can see, Ballistics is at level 1. Skill priorities would be Core skills, 2 Steadiness, 2 Recoil, 1 Reload, Pierce 3, Critical Eye 7. Additional damage skills, build Critical Boost first, then see if you can add Attack Boost 4, see if you can go and reach for Attack Boost 7, and if not, try to put Peak Performance and Agitator. Comfort skills, Flinch Free 1, 2 Ballistics, 1 Evade Extender. For a Dragon Heart set, well, you won't have Universal Affinity, since Valstrak's set has Wex 3. Your Pierce set would be a Pierce Wex set, not a Universal Affinity Approach set. Core skills would change a bit. 2 Steadiness, 2 Recoil, 1 Reload, Pierce 3, Wex, Dragonheart 5, plus Resuscitate 3. Additional damage skills, Critical Eye 2, so you have 100% affinity on a weak spot. Then go build Critical Boost again, see if you can add more attack boost, and see if you can add Agitator. Comfort skills, flinch free 1, 2 ballistics, 1 evade extender. Again, rapid fire pierce 2 is stronger than this. Why use it? Aesthetics, man. Aesthetics. Finally, the only thing you're going to use for Jang's heavy bowgun. If you're a person who's really not into guns and one of those people that would just want the gun for everything, make this heavy bowgun. It works well with the shield too. The strat is simple, sticky monster till it's down. If you want to conserve ammo, do a wyvern shot. When monster is down, but if you don't mind using a farcaster, just go sticky all the way. The ramp up skill we're gonna go for here is sticky effect 2. The no talisman build doesn't have any slugger, but if you ask me if you have sticky 3s on 4 per clip, just eat for slugger and you'll be fine. Even with this no talisman build, you'll get faster kill times with less effort needed. Just don't forget to eat for booster, bombardier, and slugger. For my current set, I went on and just placed more raw boosting power and combined attack and peak. No slugger, sticky all the way. Here are the skill priorities. Core skills, 3 recoil, 3 reload, 2 sniper, spare shot 3, artillery 3, 
Additional damage skills, attack boost 4, 7, peak performance, agitator, comfort skills, flinch free, slugger, evade extender. I don't advise you to make a Dragonheart sticky set, it doesn't make sense. The moment you start fighting a monster, it will immediately go down. Are you honestly considering slowing down your fire rate just to get that Dragonheart to proc? Don't. Hunts will be a lot faster when you don't stop shooting, plus in multiplayer hunts, if you do have friends that are teasing you for going for the cheese, ignore them. Deep down, they appreciate you because you make them feel OP. They are being able to pull moves and see damage numbers that their meta sets are truly capable of because you're keeping the monster down. Fast reminders, if you want to go for shield, just include guard 3 and guard up 2 as a core skill. Dango tips. If you are going for a sticky slicing setup or a sticky setup, eat for bombardier, booster, slugger. If you are going for pierce, spread, normal, booster, temper, marksman. That's everything. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one.